All right, all right, all right. So are you looking to break into the tech industry or to level up your software development skills? Well, let me save you countless hours of Googling. Here are the top five programming languages that you must master in 2025 in order to stay ahead of the curve in today's tech-driven society. So I've done quite a lot of research and the list that I've put together takes into consideration career growth, high paying jobs, developer community, ease of learning, and so many different factors. So when I first started programming, there are so many different programming languages that I myself wish I had some type of roadmap or a mentor or someone to basically tell me which programming languages I should focus on. So if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all these programming languages and technologies out there, hopefully this video will provide some clarity and narrow down the top programming languages that you should focus on based on research for 2025. All right, so at the bottom of our top five list is SQL, short for Structured Query Language. So the reason why SQL makes it on our list is because it's, you can think of it like the Google of the programming languages, okay? Because this is the language that we use to search databases. And in this day and age, almost everything is centered around data. And if you're trying to find exactly what you need from huge amounts of data, SQL is your language of choice. So this powers everything from Netflix recommendations to even your fitness tracker. Every company needs someone who can analyze their data, dig into the data and make sense of their numbers. And I know some people are thinking SQL makes it on the top five list. And that's because SQL isn't that flashy of a language. Most people only learn SQL out of necessity. Okay, so maybe they started a project and then they realized that in order to achieve the goals of the project, they need a database. And in order to use that big database or perform some type of operations on the database efficiently, they need to know SQL. So the main reason why SQL makes it onto the top five list is because, especially in 2025, a lot of businesses are looking at their data in order to make some data-driven decisions. And in order to analyze the data in their databases, they'll need a tool like SQL. So the demand for people who know SQL is only going to grow. And even if you're a solo developer that is building your own app or websites, you quickly start to realize that the knowledge of databases or SQL, even though it's not flashy, it's essential. Okay, so next up, taking the number four position, drum roll please, is Swift. So if you ever want to develop anything to do with Apple or iOS, your knowledge of Swift is your ticket to the iOS ecosystem. So if you want to develop a viral iPhone app, you need to know Swift. If you want to develop something that can be used on the iPad or even the Apple Vision Pro, the VR goggles, in order to develop for that, you need knowledge of Swift. In the past, you could probably use your knowledge of Objective-C to develop these Apple related software. But now in this day and age in 2025, if you want to develop anything for Apple, you can't do without Swift. And Apple is constantly trying to innovate. Actually, that's even arguable. Some people believe that the iPhone was probably Apple's last greatest innovation, but that's a story for another day. Apple is constantly running experiments. And recently with AR, VR, and wearable technology, these are all fairly new and there aren't that many applications built for it yet. As a matter of fact, Apple is encouraging all its developers, including myself, to build for these new platforms that are growing or are going to become more popular in 2025. And like I mentioned, in order to develop anything for Apple, you need knowledge of Swift. And for that reason, we have to put Swift on our top five list. All right, so now let's talk about the next 
programming language on our top five list. So in position number three, we have the OG of all programming language. No introduction needed, and it is Java. Java is one of those programming languages that have been around for a very long time. And so it has a huge developer community. And for that reason, it's very reliable and stable. And even though it might not be that trendy currently, it is still the language of choice for a lot of institutions. You can think about Java kind of like that girlfriend or partner that you knows it's not that sexy, but um, your friends love them because you're reliable, stable. You're probably not going to cheat on you. And even though it may not be fun, if you had to choose a ride or die, that's what you'll choose. And for all the reasons I've mentioned, this makes Java the language of choice for a lot of banking apps or any large scale system that needs to be reliable. And even Minecraft uses Java. Another thing that makes Java great is the fact that it's very robust. You can run it basically anywhere, either on your desktop, you can even build websites with it. You can use it to build mobile applications, the Android mobile apps, and so much more. So a lot of finance tech businesses and stable businesses tend to still choose Java. And for that reason, Java is not going anywhere. And if you want to build native Android apps, you're limited to basically Kotlin and Java. So for all of those reasons, Java maintains its position in the top five programming languages for 2025. So yeah, we'll give Java the bronze medal for now. And some people might argue that even though it's not flashy, it pays the bills and it's the OG programming language. So it deserves to be somewhere in the top three, perhaps maybe position two. But we have another programming language in position two. And that programming language is, drum roll please, JavaScript. So JavaScript is basically the programming language of the internet. If you're doing any type of web development, you'll most likely be exposed to JavaScript. Ever open your browser and then went on the website and clicked something and something cool happened? That's JavaScript for you. So why is JavaScript such an essential language to know? It's because it's everywhere. Whether it's websites, apps, even your smart fridge could be running on JavaScript. And it has a huge developer community that supports it. And there's several different JavaScript frameworks such as either React or Angular. And the reason why in 2025 this is in the top two position is because with Web3 growing, which is the Internet of Things, JavaScript is also going to naturally grow with it. So yeah, JavaScript isn't going anywhere and it deserves position number two or the silver medal. So finally, let's talk about the language that takes the gold medal, the most useful language in the year 2025 that I believe anyone who's getting into tech should get familiar with this language. So this language is basically like the Swiss army knife of programming. It's a lot of different things you can do with it, just like Swiss army knife over here. So that language is Python. So imagine having one language that could build a website, train AI and automate the boring stuff. Python basically does it all. And not only is it great for doing a lot of different things, but it's also probably the easiest language to learn. So you're trying to break into tech or you have no familiarity with programming or any programming concepts, my advice to you is to start with Python because it's so easy to pick up even if you've never done any coding before. It powers a lot of things such as TikTok's recommendation algorithm, also Spotify's recommendation algorithm as well. And aside from all of that, the reason why this takes the number one spot in 2025 is because as we all know, AI and automation are currently exploding. And in my opinion, 
Python is the best language for AI and automation. So it's a no brainer that this would be the top on the list. And just so you know, companies that are not even tech companies, maybe clothing companies, food companies, so many different companies are starting to hire Python developers because they see the importance of data, AI, automation. So naturally there's going to be a demand for Python developers in all sectors. So I encourage you to learn Python if you don't already know. And if you need some help with that, I actually have a Python course where I teach you all the different fundamentals. You don't need to have any prior knowledge of any programming language. I'll teach you everything from basics to advanced. So if you're interested in breaking into the tech industry or improving your programming skills, check out Easy Coder, where you can learn programming with ease. And we cover different languages such as Python, Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and so forth. And I'm doing all of this for free, okay? Just simply go to easycoder.io you find the mobile app there and you can download it and learn a high paying skill set for free. You have nothing to lose. So there you have it. That's our top five programming languages to learn in 2025. We have Python for versatility. We have JavaScript for the web. We have Java for enterprise power and Android development. We have Swift for iOS development and SQL to dominate databases. So I'm curious, which language are you learning next? Let me know in the comments. So if you want more programming tips, feel free to subscribe. And if you want some free programming tutorials, like I mentioned, you can download the Easy Coder app. And remember that learning coding is not a marathon or a sprint. Start small, stay consistent, and then very soon you'll have high paying skill sets that no one can take away from you. Until next time, happy coding. I need a better sign off. Until next time, stay sexy. Nah, that's too corny. Until next time, until next time, stay hungry, stay hungry. You know what? Hopefully by the next video, I'll have a better sign off message. See you in the next video.